Hey guys, and today we're going to be showing both the Donut Media Low and High Team Horizon stories in Forza Horizon 5. So we're going to start off with Low Team, then we're going to make our way over to High Team. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get in a different car. I'm going to get into the... Let's go with the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento Forza Edition. Tuned all the way up to X-Class. I know this is a Horizon story, so card does not really matter that much. You have arrived at your destination. Okay, so I've done Welcome to High Low already. Um, see, so yeah, I'm sure most of you guys have too. But yeah, so we're gonna start off with Welcome to Low Team. See this right here? This is a real car connoisseur picking Low Team, or maybe you're just cheap. That's cool though. No judgments. I'll take you for a spin in low car. You'll see there's nothing cheap about it. I mean, I like to get value for my money. Nothing wrong with that. Here we are. We are here, we are in low car now. So, for those that don't know, Donut Media, um, Donut Media is a YouTube channel. They have a series called High Low where they take two Nissan 350Zs, one with expensive parts and one with cheaper parts. So there's the high, there's the high car or high team, which is the one with expensive parts, and there's the low car or low team with the cheap parts so we're starting off with the low car the blue one and then the high car is the black one you guys will see later in the video but yeah so you can take to the track that's low car turbo suspension brakes wheels tires lights body kit paint job all for just 20 grand you didn't have to spend twice as much for a running car hold on and okay i did not mean to did not break hard enough there man Mexico is beautiful. I'm gonna make a little cut here. I don't know if I'll be able to make it in two minute fifteen. Another thing I've noticed, um, they fixed the three fifty Z sound. Before the old three fifty Z sound sounded horrible. Now they sound a lot better, which is great. I'm just gonna cut right through this roundabout right here. But yeah, the 350Z sound a lot better now, which is great. Yeah, to be honest, I have Oh, I could cut here. Cut and go straight down there. I'm not going to do it. I, I probably should, anyway, but I'm not going to. Z. Whatever the result, it was an awesome build. Come on, Jeremiah, which team are you? Are you kidding? Low team all the way. This Z has a special place in all our hearts. It's the hero of the show. All I have is 30 seconds left to make it 0.5 miles. I think I can do that. This road goes straight to Balarate. Send it, dude. Yeah, I got this. There we go. Solid drive. No one probably Welcome to low team chapter complete. So there's about, I want to say, six chapters. I could be wrong, though. I completed the. F I think I can. There's six or seven chapters. I know I completed the first one, and there's 18 stars total. But yeah, so. Where are Nolan and Justin anyway? Yeah, so the next one's gonna be right up here, so we can just drive there real quick. And so we can. Okay, there's seven chapters. And I have completed there's seven chapters and I have completed the first one. Alright, every car at Horizon ranked. Thanks to Donut and Horizon, this is every car at the festival ranked. Uh every car. That's a lot. That's what I told him. Don't get me wrong, these cars are tight, but I got stuff to do this afternoon. So there we go, so I'm in a 1997 Nissan GTR. This thing is obviously built. For this list, I've managed to secure each of our favorite cars at Horizon Mexico. You're welcome. For me, it's got to be the 1997 Nissan Skyline GTR R33. R33. Because it's super underrated, and it's amazing overall to drive. 
So I gotta make it there in a minute and 40 seconds to get three stars. I think I can do it. This thing is insanely fast. I try not to buy one every day. And second for me is the Mitsubishi Stereon because I love cars that are shaped like wedges and wide. Ooh, I need to uh, break there a little bit. And for me, I think I'll go with the 2018 Camaro CL1 1LE. America. And a close second is a McLaren F1. Alright, Superstar, your favorite. Go! Uh, AMG1? Toyota Supra? Corvette C8? Hurry up, dude. Ranked lists away for nobody. I... I can't! Okay, sorry. We'll do top three then. Obviously, it's the GTR at number one. No, there goes the mi just a uh, just a mile and a half left, and we got 30 one, seconds. Right? I don't know if we can do this. I know you want to ride these. Probably can't. We're going 200 miles an hour right now. A three-way tie. High car, low car, and any car you walk up with your friends. I like that. Very wholesome. <laughs> All right, that's our ranking. If you don't like it, too bad. Okay, let's, I could probably do better there. I barely even tried. The understeer. I'm not gonna try to. I'm not gonna worry about that, that corner. Just there we go. I made it on there. And there we go. I'm at the destination. If I ever actually own a GTR, I'm calling you to drive it for me. Let's go. The next one is right up here. You have arrived at your destination. We're going there. Deja vu. First day, and things are going pretty smoothly for Team Low. Now, Jeremiah is setting up for an episode of Bumper to Bumper. All we got to do is get Low Car out there to meet him. Uh, why are you saying that like it won't happen? It's only a couple miles. Sure. A couple miles. Lokar can do that. No problem. I can't believe I've never been here. It's absolutely beautiful. Tell me about it. Never gets old. We should do a season of high low here. Baja bugs or trophy trucks or something. That would be sick. I mean, until low team breaks down or breaks an axle or overheats in the Baja. Low car doesn't always break, you know? That's true. Sometimes it's high car. I'll have you know that on track day, we both broke down. So we're both here in the, uh, in the low, in the low 350Z. And, ooh, okay. I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to pass that truck to the right. That's the only way I can make that corner semi-clean. Back in, sliding out there a little bit. We're gonna take a quick cut right here. And there we go, we got a minute to go 0.8 miles. Uh, does anyone hear a funny noise? You jinxed it! All the cars smoking. It. You built it! It's fine! It's fine! I can hold it! Probably. Let's just see if we can make it to Jeremiah at the finish line. That's fine. Ignore that. That's not smoke. It's it's speed gas. Totally smoke, Justin. I think it's cooking under there. <sighs> ah, yeah. Just head for the motorway. So we almost made it to the finish. Well, which it's slowing down. It's actually pretty good. Great job, and there we go. With a rooftop tent that would have been perfect for this. So, I 
call Jeremiah. He's coming to meet us. The next one is half a mile left on the highway. So we're gonna hop on the highway right here. You have arrived at your destination. And then bumper to bumper. While they try to figure out what's wrong with Lozy, you and I are oh, going this? We got, ooh, the Formula style, Drift 240SX. To All right. Bumper to bumper on our Formula Drift 96 Nissan 240SX. Let's go. You ready to get drifty? Don't let me get my zone. This thing raced in the 2022 Pro Spec Series, which is like the minor leagues for Formula D. Driver number 51, Adam Kanavik. He's our shop daddy, and he's probably the best driver at Dome. So, okay, that's kind of funny. I can't get, um, I can't get drift points while they're talking. I have to wait for them to stop. I'll get you a shirt. I'll get you a dozen shirts, plus socks. No problem. Oh, it's the drift zone I have to do. So before they got to work on it, this was a Nissan S14 240SX. Iron block LS, supercharged with about 800 LS9. pounds of torque. Pretty sweet. LS9 is definitely one of the best LS engines out there. Hear that supercharger putting in work. So let's see, where is the, uh, the drift zone? your drift zone. Light it up! So it's two stars, it's 50,000 points. Third gear. That third gear is geared way too high. Oh, crap, I messed that up. Alright, 150,000 points at this drift zone is going to be hard. I don't know if I can do it. Ooh, there we go. 150,000 points. That third gear, though, is geared way go. too Bumper high. To I do not like that Donut at all. Media Formula Drift Nissan 240SX. What do you think? Leave a comment, like, and sub. Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. But you should subscribe, though. Alright, there we go. So the next stop. I don't care how we there do we go. It. Just We're right up here. Just you wait and see. I'm calling it right now for the track day. I guarantee you they're gonna be they're gonna use the uh, the Horizon Oval track that was just recently added at the stadium. Hey there, buddy. What's going on? Little car trouble? Yeah, James. Well, low car is. Uh, Ooh, low car's a little broken. We'll take the truck. You drive high car. All right, so we get to drive high car now. There's a little uh, sneak. Oh no! I oh no! I'm driving the truck. Yo, Nolan, no need to hurry. Oh, Stop I thought. <laughs> I oh, thought man. I was gonna get to drive high car. Beat high Z back to the festival in a flatbed. You can beat him back to the festival in a flatbed, right? We're gonna take this little cut here. We are in a truck, so we should be able to off road. Except I don't really. Oh, crap! There's checkpoints. Okay. I can't say I really expect. It's definitely not the type of truck that you're gonna want to be taken off roading, let alone in a race. But you know it's working. 
We're gonna get there in two minutes and ten seconds for three stars. That's kind of gonna be the goal. The only problem is we can't do any cuts because there are checkpoints. By the way, early word on Lizzie is that we blew a radio. Except, oh, there's no more. Uh, there's no hose. more checkpoints, so uh, ah, we can just cut that. We fixed one of those in a we're, just, we're just gonna go midnight. straight there. Uh, that was in a high car, though. I Return to all. Oh. Us Americans love keeping butter knives in our glove box. That could have just tanked my time. That could have been bad. That could have been real bad. Oh, I might like actually not get it because of that. I think a 1.6 miles in less than a minute. It's definitely gonna be hard. We might be able to do it. Forty seconds to go, one point one miles. I don't think we got this. Nope. I probably would have had it. Probably would have gotten it if we ended up going. If we didn't try to cut there. But you know, it's whatever. Now hard to the finish. Uh, we still got ten seconds left. We might be able to do this. And there we go. Give we still got it. Stretch. Wow. Did I'm not think we could do that. Donut media intern position. There we go. Three stars. You, me, Losey have a date with the track. And then there we go, track day. It's going up here. Oh, they're gonna use this track. They're using the festival track. That's cool. The festival track, honestly, in my opinion, is very overrated. I mean underrated. I feel like it doesn't really get used that much. This is more expensive and be more better. Oh, so we have to use a rental. Oh, okay. So we're going to be using a... Is this a stock 350Z? I think this might be. All right. Before we get started on our high-low test track finale, one more thing we got to do to welcome the newest member of the Donut family. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm getting. I'm going to get to build my own. Me. I'm going to get to build my own 350Z. Us, you're officially family. We've got a big family. We told you at the start, sometimes it's hard to decide between high car and low car. So... <gasps> the legends were true. The glory of mid-car awaits. So we're going to be building no, mid-car. Don't be. This is the best part. We picked up another identical stock Nissan Z, and it's yours to customize. And here we go. Okay, wait. Choose your upgrades, and we'll get them installed. I will Choose your upgrades. What does that mean? You guys. Okay, here we go. Let's start with new wheels and So tires. all I get now is for new brakes, diff, springs, and a big fat turbo. So all I you get is look at a roll cage um, some arrow too. That rocket bunny wide body is pretty tempting. Now finish it off with a paint job, or if you're really brave, we're gonna use let's use street tires. That'll Man, save us a that little bit of money. Be careful. You can spin more than low car, but less than high car. Mid car. So you got let's it? try to find well so let's try to find something that saves dope. us a good bit of we weight. Probably cram a few more upgrades in there. Start with some test laps. Get a so good feel. Only feel 32 for it. pounds. Right. I'm looking Believe for not, high and low at least 40. Running. So we are good to go. I mean, okay, those are expensive. Let's see if we can find any cheaper ones. Here we go, 32, oh, those are 30, those are 3,700 as well. Let's just go with these. They're not the prettiest, but, you know, they work. So, let's see. All right, we got all that. Then let's, let's go with some brakes, so we can go with street brakes. Let's see. Let's go with the more expensive one, because I feel like that would help a lot more. Then we'll go with springs.
for 700 more, we can go with Ray Springs. So let's do that. Then Roll Cage. Let's go with the Roll Cage adds a bunch of weight. So we're gonna go with the lesser one, just because that is way, way too much weight that we need. So then let's see, we can do a race diff for 2250. Let's do that. Conversion, body kit. Alright, we need a wide body, of course. Okay, I cannot. This wide body kit is honestly real ugly, I'm gonna be honest with you. My whatever, we're gonna do we're doing it anyway. Alright, there we go. So that's all the requirements, so that just leaves us with no we're gonna we're going big on power. Okay, wait, how much is an engine swap? I'm doing we're doing an engine swap. Ooh, all right. Let's see. I could do this one for thirty grand, and then I get eight grand in upgrades. Sure, let's do that. Then how much for how much for extra turbos? How much for bigger turbos? Uh, race. Tw we're gonna. We don't need anti lag. We're gonna go with the. We're gonna go with the race twin turbo. And then we got twenty six fifty left. Of course, we're gonna have to go with an exhaust. So let's see. So this is a stock exhaust. How do I? I can't test it. We're gonna, we're gonna go with a. We're gonna go with the big exhaust. Actually, let's save. Now nah, we're going with the big exhaust. I don't care. We're going with the big exhaust. So, is there anything else I can do for six hundred bucks? We already have an exhaust, camshaft. Nope. Valves. Nope. Displacement. Nope. Pistons. Nope. Any of this? Oh, I could do that for 650, except. Oh, I already have brakes. What am I? I don't need brakes. I already have those. Let's see, no anti roll bars. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to go with. Can we do rate re weight reduction? No, weight reduction is 800. Why does weight reduction cost money? How much for. No, no, we're gonna get rid of the. Ah, oh, crap, I did not mean to do that. We're getting rid of the weight. We're getting rid of the exhaust, and we're doing we're doing some weight reduction. Drive train, no. Is it this one? Here we go. Weight reduction, and we're going max weight reduction. There we go. Minus six twenty six hundred pounds. All right, there we go. That's good right there. So then let's paint the car first. So we're gonna go. We're going black. We're going blacked out. There we go. So. And we're not we're not going to be tuning it since that does take time. Then there we go. So we'll burn out real, real quick. Alright, so I'm after this. Okay, there we go. This is it. We did it. We are here. The final showdown of this very special, very exciting Horizon slash Donut edition of High Low. We bought three nearly identical Nissan 350Zs. One got cheap parts, one got expensive parts, and for the first time ever, one got a mix of the two. I'll be in low car. I'll be in high car. And I'll be in mid car with our special guest driver. There you go, so I'll be in the one that uh, I just built. Hi. Time to find out once and for all 
just more expensive, me more better. And we're in first place or already, and I. Right. So this thing gets uh, almost zero traction at all. And smarter. Oh okay, yeah, that wasn't great, but it's a new format, so we can work on it. Let's go! Show them what mid So the exhaust sound, even though we have that I race exhaust, it still does not sound that good. Whether winds are not low Z rules. Hey guys, it's been great working with you, but I'm running away to join Horizon. Be safe, have fun, I love you. But you're still gonna lose. More friends definitely means more better. Cause our pain. Ha is the most important part. We've got to be, make it there in a minute and 25 seconds to get three stars. This gives us only about 30 seconds to go 1.3 miles. A detour! Take it off road! Okay, there we go. We're maxing out at about 200 miles an hour right now. Coming up on the finish line! Let it eat! All right, there we go. We made it. All right, that should have been three stars. I can't believe you did it, dude. I am so proud of you. This changes everything. You're going to have to move to LA. We need to get you some t-shirts and like a hat. Do you know how to read a teleprompter? <laughs> I've got a better idea. How about you all join us here for a while? Oh, can we, James? Can we, can we, please, please, please? <laughs> I can't say no to that face. All right, maybe for a little while. All right, there we go. So we completed the whole Donut Media Horizon uh, Low Team story. There we go. So next up, we're going to be trying the other route, and we're going to High Team. So we're going to go back up to here. Right, where was it? It was right here where we started. So we completed that one. And we're gonna go here. There we go. So here we are in our uh, our fa Nissan Fair Lady Z that we just built. There we go. That's cool. And we got five accolades from that. So I got the Donut Media Beep Beep Car Horn. We got. I already had that. We got. Donut Media Black, uh, Relax, Relaxed Tea, Relaxed T-shirt. Then we got the Donut Media Yellow, uh, Donut Media Yellow Bomber Jacket. Then we got the number 51 Formula Drift Nissan 240SX, as well as the 350Z Low Car. So there we go. So. I'm not going to try the high team. I'm hoping it is a little bit different. I think it will be. But, um, yeah. Welcome to high team. We have a lot of money and seafood towers. Okay, we don't have seafood towers right now, but we do have Zach. It's you and me for this one. James is meeting us on the other side. Road trip! Woo! Road trip! Let's see what you can do in high Z on the way to Guanajuato. James so says we're on high Z and we're driving to Guanajuato. That's definitely shopping. different. I heard that. So you probably so we're a little cut right here. We're gonna do this. Gosh dang history. We did everything to this thing: wheels, tires, brakes, coilovers, turbo, body. I'm gonna turn all the way to the left. I'm gonna try to make it straight onto this road. And James said, "Mo power a bunch." Total power. The power delivery is so smooth with these turbos. Everything about the car is pretty sweet. So, okay, so I need to see if I can clean that up a little bit. Seats could be more comfy. And the best part, on track day, just when we were getting clean laps, uh, we broke it. Black flag. Womp womp. Feels so I just want to real quick go on a photo mode real quick. I just want to admire the sticker right here. Mo power baby on board. That is great. It's nice, right? I think high car rides better with you behind the wheel. Honestly, I didn't care who won. I love low car too. Don't tell no one I said that. I won't.
Yeah, I definitely did get the uh, the 350Z sound like on point with this car. I think it's a little slow though. I mean, it is close to the. Uh, it is identical to the uh, the high the high car the high 350Z. I wonder if I can put some upgrades on this thing. Now. I just realized I have a passenger and oh, okay, I just okay. I, I have a passenger. I think that's. I want to say, I can't remember his name. I don't know. Just another day in the life of High Z. Thanks for the ride. So there we go, welcome to High Team, chapter complete. That is a beautiful car. Now, where's Pumphrey at? Now the next one is right here. You have arrived at your destination. So I'm gonna real quick get back in the uh, Lambo. Actually, no, I'm staying in this thing. Donut delivery is the next one. Whoa, cool! Ooh, we're in a Miata. Okay. This? Some Horizon drivers starting their own muddy pit. Man, I love that car. Hey, time's wasting. I'm not paying you to sit around talking about cars. Ooh, the uh. Ooh, the the Donut Media Ford Super Van. Okay, That's cool. With a donut on top. Why are we in the back? That's cool. Because Donut Media is a business. All right. Wow, this car's this culture, thing sounds insane. And t-shirts with buff horses on. Our interns have set up. And okay, I just hit that building. I. This thing turns way better than I thought it would. Donut wow. Stands all over Mexico. We're gonna make some deliveries. Make okay. sure to park at the stand. Oh, I have to park at the stand. <laughs> Need time to drop everything off. There we go. First one. First one complete. Go go go! Like a horse out of heck. No, we're going which way? Can we do it, boss? Yes. Yes, we can. Apex, baby. Yeah, that would make a good shirt. Maybe a hat. Now we're heading where we are. I think we're going to be staying in Guanajuato. Oh, we're like, yeah, we're still in Guanajuato, but like we're very close to outside, so I'm gonna park here. Lightning, lightning, lightning! Final parking spot, go! And there's just one more, and I spun out there. I'm gonna try to see if I can make that drift a little bit cleaner. <laughs> that was a bit better. We got less than a minute to make it to the destination, which is 1.2 miles away. Go. Whew. Now all the donut fans at Horizon can get their sweet threads and recognize each other and hug and stuff. We did a good thing today. Chapter complete. Then we got three stars on that. There we go.
All right, high Z should have cooled down by now. So the next one is half a mile away. Right over here. You have arrived at your destination. Time after time. That was a pretty great day. How about we finish it off night drive? Zach? You take the Miata. All right. Nice driving, by the way. Thanks for getting all that set up. That means you and I are in high Z, buddy. We're driving through this. So we're back in high car. And there's Zach and the Miata right there. Who cares? This Miata rules. So we're just going to make a small cut right here. Ooh, I don't know if that was a good idea or not. And we got far ahead of Zach though, so we should be uh, good hey, though. Zach, it's uh, getting pretty dark out, isn't it? Uh, sure. Yeah, I guess it is. I think uh, maybe for safety, you know, you might want to turn on your. Oh no! Here it comes. Pop, pop, pop it down headlights. And I missed that turn up real. I missed up that turn real bad. Oh no, not you too. We got three miles left. Two more minutes. We should be able to do this. So let's see, we can make a little cut right here. And alright, no, that was bad right there. <laughs> We're gonna try to see if we can make it all the way over there. No, we're just gonna be go we're just gonna go straight for the destination. Save us a bunch of time. Why, why am I not accelerating anymore? Looks like my car broke down. So, Hi Z is broken down. Oh, yep, Hi Z is broken down. Sensor, but I'll have to wait until first light to see. Which means our big broken baby is spending the night in the woods. <laughs> Welcome to High Low, baby. Should have brought the Tacoma. This is kind of funny. This is like exactly what happened in the series. And that's cool how they entirely there recreated aren't it. Mexican bears in these woods, are there? arrived at your destination so we go up to speed hey James so high car broke down huh no <laughs> you're right we're just uh, testing the capabilities Ooh, we got the new Z yeah as well as a stock Z and the old Z Zach very old Z down under control but it might take a while what are we gonna do how about we take some cars and some cameras and get up to speed on the Nissan Z? So am I driving up? I'm driving the new Z. So this is everything you need to know to get up to speed on the Nissan Z while we drive on. No way. No way, no way. In October of 1969, the 240Z arrived in America, known in Japan oh, as 
Okay, race, return to race route. I'm gonna have to restart. <laughs> On the Nissan Z, while we drive on. No way, no way, no way. All right, so no cuts. October of 1969, the 240Z arrived in America, known in Japan as the Fair Lady Z. The American version had a 2.4 liter inline six, giving it a robust 151 hertz purse. It could go from zero to 60 in just under eight seconds and cost around 3,600 bucks. I would love to find a 240Z for 3,600 bucks. Jumping to more current times, in 2001, an announcement was made. The return of the Z to America. Nissan debuted a bright orange Z concept car, the Nissan 350Z. It was released to wide acclaim the very next year. While the 350Z was good, Nissan knew they could do better. Debuting in 2008, the Nissan 370Z was almost a complete redesign from the 350. The engine swapped out to the huge 3.7 liter V6. It was also still affordable and looked amazing. Lucky for us, and all, all right, well, I just went off the road fans, by a lot. Nissan didn't stop there. In 2023, the new Nissan Z arrived, the newest in their line of modern sports cars, this time with 400 purse purrs. The new Z uses the same platform as the 370Z, but now it's got a three liter twin turbocharged V6 engine. Now I kind of wish I'd gotten the Roadster. Z432, baby, can't beat a classic. My Z is the mightiest Z. And this here we are, okay, we got 10 seconds left. We should be good. And there we go. Congratulations, you are now officially up to speed on the Nissan Z. There we go. Two minute and one second, so. Like right above, I mean right below three stars. Or like yeah. Uh, hey Zach, is the car fixed yet? You have arrived at your destination. Then we got cars are pain. This is a uh, interesting new upgrade for high car. Yeah, we installed a full flatbed truck. Kit and there we go. It came out pretty well. That's well, the same thing. Our car still works. Same so as the last let's one. Let's drive that. We're in the truck. And we're racing to the Hard festival. Right, then floor it. Going. High car on a flatbed can still beat low car any day of the week. Are you serious? Dude, come on. Uh, hey, so, um, I said a stupid thing to my buddy Nolan, and now you need to make me look less stupid. Um, can you do that? It's okay, this is high team. We can pay for the damage. About 100 miles an hour, we're doing pretty good. Well, there's no first person camera in this truck, there's nothing but third person. I've got it, it was the crank angle sensor. That's a pretty easy replacement once we get back to the festival. There we are, we're back at, we're getting close to the festival. We can see this festival's right over there. We still got like 15 seconds to go. 
doing fine. And there we are. Woo! High car for life, baby! You helped a lot too. Thanks, pal. And there we go. You know what day it is? It's track day! And there we go. So we now have to just drive to the track. Turn left. And yeah, so. And here we are. So it does more expensive mean more better? Rental cars, we got the 350Z. So it says you can rent a car for free, but you can't customize it. And well, we can prove that wrong right here. All right, before we get started on our high low test track finale, one more thing we gotta do to welcome the newest member of the Donut family. What? Me? If you break a car with us, you're officially family. We've got a big family. We told you at the start, sometimes it's hard to decide between high car and low car. So... <gasps> the legends were true. The glory of mid-car awaits. I'm nervous now. Don't be. This is the best part. We picked up another identical stock Nissan Z, and it's yours to customize. All right, here we go. Let's see. Choose your upgrades, and we'll get them installed. I will definitely be helping you guys. Let's start with new so wheels and tires. So, oh, so, new brakes, diff, oh, so we're just going to do the same thing we did last time. So we're going to go. You big probably want to look at a roll cage and some arrow too. That rocket bunny wide body is pretty tempting. Race springs. Now finish it off with a paint job. Or if you're really brave. We're going not we're not doing that since it does add a lot of weight. Man, I'll never live that and down. while we're at yeah. it, let's throw in you some weight reduction. Than low car, but less than high car. Mid car. You got it? All done? Looks pretty dope. We could probably cram a few more we'll throw, in there. We'll throw a race Start diff. Test laps. Get a good feel for it. All right. Believe it or not, high and low Z are both running. So we are street tires. Then some some wheels. I'm I'm not even I'm not even gonna look at them. I'm just gonna pick the first one. That. Alright, there we go. We're going with gold wheels. Then yeah. So what else we gotta do? Conversion rocket bunny kit. Engine swap. We're gonna go with. See what can we afford that? Then big twin turbo. Then what else we got? And we still need some weight reduction. All right, there we go. Let's paint the car again. Instead, this time. Go with let's go with let's go with brown. So that okay, let's go. Then there we go. So we are pretty car met the requirements. And there we go. See, it's just like the last time they gotta check. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's just like uh, just like real life track days. They gotta check your car, make sure you know everything meets the requirements. This is it. We did it. We are here. The final showdown of this very special, very exciting Horizon slash Donut edition of High Low. We bought three nearly identical Nissan 350Zs. One got cheap parts, one got expensive parts, and for the first time ever, one got a mix of the two. I'll be in low car, I'll be in high car. 
And I'll be in mid-car with our special guest driver. Um, hi. Time to find out, once and for all, does more expensive mean more better? <laughs> or is more in between -er, more gooder and smarter? -er? Okay, that wasn't great, but it's in the format, so we can work on it. Let's go! Show them what Midcar can do! High Z all day, baby! Woo! Whether it wins or not, low Z rules. You guys, it's been great working with you, but I'm running away to join Horizon. Be safe, have fun, I love you, but you're still gonna lose. So we have it out a minute. I don't think I, I actually don't think I have to break there, so I'm gonna rewind and not break. Definitely means more better. Cause our pain. Uh -huh. Okay, I do have to rain. I, I mean, I do have to break. Is the most important part. Nah, I'm gonna do that again, except break a little bit earlier. I had it good the first time. Right, we got 30 seconds to make it one and a half miles. I think we can do it. Let's see, though. Take it off road. So, ooh, all right. Okay. No, that's bad. All right, and that drift was bad, too. See if we go back a little bit more. How did we do it last time? Because I know this is like the exact same. We must have break break there or something. Come up on the finish line. Let it eat. There we are. We're good though. I might have to make a small cut just to make it to the finish line. Just so we can not spin out. Hey, we're good. We still made it. You did it! I can't believe you did it, dude. I am so proud of you. This changes everything. You're gonna have to move to LA. We need to get you some t-shirts and like a hat. Do you know how to read a teleprompter? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a better idea. How about you join us here for a while? Oh, can we, James? Can we, can we, please, please, please? I can't say no to that face. All right, maybe for a little while. There we go. We completed high team now. So that will be the end of this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.